Hi everyone. I occasionally do these videos. It's not because I'm lazy and I just want to say, hey, I have no other video to create, so I'm just going to do this. No, it's just I genuinely feel sick. So I did a whole bunch of stop motions, so those will be coming out. Uh, I'm going to wait till my voice sounds a little better. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'm very sick, which always happens to me. But I did want to show off my Prime Shield that I'm customizing. It's basically cardboard, but then with a whole heap of epoxy sculpt. And you may, if you saw this originally, which I may have done a video on it, this is the original base. This was what I was going to originally use, but I was like, wait, I need it a little bit bigger. So I just put on another layer. And yeah, I'm almost out of my epoxy sculpt, so I'm going to need some more. Uh, and uh, I just painted the entire thing silver so that I can uh, put more of the reds and the blues on it. And I'm customizing an Ant-Man and making a helmet. And I've decided to make a helmet with the mouth closed in. So, oh, sorry. I am sick, so if I do, like, <coughs> do that. Uh, anyway, I put epoxy sculpt on it so that it can basically be all folded up. I'm going to show a video on that and customizing Captain America. So I just kind of wanted to show this shield because this is probably going to be it until I finish it. But I want to know your suggestions on how Optimus should have it, like should hold it. Because he does have a port on the side of his arm where you're supposed to plug it in. But I don't know. Because that seems a little too complicated for me. Only because I'm going to have to measure it out and do all that stuff. And sorry if I'm like leaning down and you're seeing my cabinet. Uh... I was just <laughs> sick. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, I just kind of want to show it. Um, this epoxy sculpt, for some reason, is just not drying, which is really weird. Uh, all the paint has dried, so I'm going to start painting it in a while. And then I am going to, obviously, uh, going to show this off in its own video. I just kind of like updating you guys on customs, just because they take a while, but... Some of my favorite YouTubers update people on customs every week, every couple while. Actually, I'm going to, I'm thinking about how I have to do this because, sorry, I just decided that I kind of want to make a video. <laughs> I do, this, for some reason, this is not drying. It's like fresh epoxy sculpt, which is very weird because I let this sit for two days, so... I'm just going to carve out some little symbols on the sides. I hope I didn't add too much of A or B. So I'm going to explain epoxy sculpt now. Basically, epoxy sculpt... I should have brought my camera holder, damn it. Um, epoxy sculpt, you take A and solution B and mix them together. I mix them in my hand sometimes because I'm too lazy and I don't have enough rubber gloves. But um, you have to m mix it 50-50. You have to use half and half of each. And sometimes I don't exactly use half because I'm just eyeballing it because I'm not like some customizers who spend 20 hours making a custom because they're focused on the exact stuff of it. So maybe I added a little too much or a little too little of certain A or B and then it just got all screwed up. <laughs> I mean, it could have. Uh, it's definitely not the first time that that would happen. So I'm just going to organize this to make it look... And I do have a lot of fingerprints on this thing, which is probably the worst part because you can see it. But Cybertronian is a lot like fingerprints. I don't know. Um, just Cybertronian is very hard to read because it's made up language. Um, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes uh, when you're customizing, you have to make sure that everything's dry. I did not realize that this wasn't dry when I painted it. And right now I'm like, oh damn, it's not dry. <laughs> and so uh, it hasn't fully uh, finished where the rest of it really has. I mean, even some of it that I applied yesterday did fully finish. So I'm probably going to update you guys within a day or two uh, about this because I'm going to work on it right now and then... I don't think I'm going to work on it in front of you guys right now. I'll just show off what I do. Oh, I'll show off my paints. I'll show off what paint I use because I got this question from a couple of my friends. I use 
this uh, it's T S T O R S Testoros. No, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I just my cousin got it for me. Uh, by the way, I recommend getting shapes like this because this really helped while I was. I got this weird shape thing. It's from like some fast tape. Um, and I just kind of held it there and then I shrunk it down so that it looks a little smaller for the, um, whole thing, uh, for the sensor little compartment thingy, which Optimus has. I don't know what that's for. Um, uh, by the way, someone said, Hey, that if you kind of want to, you could make this a Millennium Falcon. I was like, actually I could, um, I mean, it could, it totally could. Just kind of like fudge it a little bit. Oh, I am painting a Spider Man, so he has to dry. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I like doing these customizing videos because some of you may not know how to customize like me, and I'm sort of learning along the way. I'm not a really good customizer. Um, I'm not really, uh, but. I do enjoy it quite a bit. So, if this does help you, that's fantastic. Um, only because, really, when it helps, hey, I mean, I learned from Glenn Webb, because he did a whole bunch of videos on it. Just trying to fill out some of the gaps. Um, but anyway, Glenn Webb, I kind of learned customizing from him. He... Showed me how. He told me the way. Um. No, he does these customizing lives videos. Um. And I watch them a lot. And I even built that building. Um, I use that in my collection for Spider-Man. Uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Because I grew up with that movie. Oh, I remember when I first saw it. Ooh, that was fantastic. I was like, whoa! <laughs> my whole life my world opened up, because I was like, Batman, that's the only super that hero that I really knew, well, and Superman, because those both own the market for years, and now Spider-Man and Iron Man own the market, um, and you know, Captain America, criminal, <laughs> that's all we can now say about Captain America, uh, <laughs> so yeah, oh, that's my dog, I should probably go get him, and I'll end this episode of customizing, I hope you enjoyed, Sorry that I'm sick. Um, I have two more Transformer customs that are going to come out soon. Blast Wave, which is Bludgeon. Uh, I've been promising him a lot, but I never delivered. And um, a Sideswipe custom. And he's going to be a Cybertronian guard. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of me customizing and just rambling on about how I like, how I like customizing. But if it did help, please tell me that it did. And I do really appreciate when you guys give me feedback and when you guys comment a whole lot because I really didn't know that I bought a bootleg. I found out after because I was researching it, but you guys did were like some of the first people to be like, no, you've been, you got a bootleg. That's bad. And I was like, oh, thanks. Um, and yeah, his entire arm is gone. So Star-Lord only has one arm, but I bought a new one shipping soon. Uh, it's going to take a while to ship, so, yeah. By the way, I want to say thank you all for watching this, subscribing if you did. If you didn't, well, just do it. <laughs> thank you for watching. I've been Ronimus2099. I'm sorry that I'm sick.